Welcome, Sag, to your reading on Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spare guides and all angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright guys, so I'm going to spread down my area. Alright, and so before I begin... I do have a new shipment in of my Enzo uh, Oracle decks if you guys are interested. Um, these um, only have like a limited quantity available in this particular shipment and so if you like to get your own copy um, you can purchase this on my Etsy shop uh, at um, Scorpio Moon Intuition on Etsy or go to my website www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, please bring forth clear messages in regards to Sag and their love life. Who is the person that is connected to Sag and love for the month of March? What energy can you reveal to Sag at this time about the person that they're connected to in love? Who is the person that is connected to Sag and love? What is the energy or vibration of the person, of the person that you're connected to in March? Two more cards, please, Spirit. Please clarify the energies. Who is this person that is connected to Sag? One more energy. What can you feel to me about this person that is connected to Sag in love for the month of March? Thank you. All right, very interesting. <laughs> so overall, I see here a sacrifice, hurt, twin flames, date, and hooking up. Wow. So, you know, what I'm feeling with this is that your person has made some sort of sacrifice. I have a feeling that they're hurt because of the dating or hooking up with someone when energetically they knew that you were their twin flame now I don't know what kind of sacrifice this is right um, you know they're learning to love themselves first this is what I'm feeling okay whoever that you're connected to maybe they're hurt because they were dating going around hooking up with other people when they knew that this was a twin flame connection and now um because of that sort of sacrifice they're learning to uh learn self-love let's go ahead and get more information Spirit, please bring forth clear messages in regards to the person that is connected to Sag and Love. What else can you reveal to me about Sag and Love in the month of March? Thank you. Dang, look at this. And this, I've never had this, at least not yet. <laughs> so what I'm seeing here, okay. 
they made a sacrifice of letting you go. Okay, I really feel like whoever is watching, um, you know, which is you, Sag. Okay, maybe it's a cross watcher. Okay, um, I have a feeling that this person had sacrificed you for a hookup. Okay, or somebody else. Like they just um, didn't want to sit around and be with you for whatever reason. Um, the other thing I'm also feeling is that uh, because of this dating or hooking up, there was uh, interference. Okay, but I have a feeling that this is no more. I have, you know. I really feel like they've learned their lesson like they don't want to go down that route anymore it hurts um you know this person really feels that they were abundant with you and now um they are getting support from other people um to really go back towards you so i have a feeling that your person has learned some sort of a lesson and um i feel like they're coming back okay if you guys were in separation so let's see Spirit, what is going on beneath the surface? How does this person currently think? And how do they feel? What is it that they want? And what is the outcome? What is the energy of this person that is connected to the judge? Thank you. All right, so they have been sitting and um, really thinking about what has happened. And um, they don't feel good, okay? That's where the hurt is coming from. Uh, they've reached some sort of, you know, clear idea that they want to communicate to you. I have a feeling that they want to open up with, you know, a text message, maybe come off as flirty, uh, having some lighthearted, casual conversations that you are everything that they really, truly wanted and desired. Like you are their missing cop is what I'm hearing and they want to celebrate with you. So I have a feeling that your person wants to get together with you uh, in this month and um, this could be going out. Um, that's what I'm saying now. It could be a get together too. Now, they're really hurt because of a third party. So, the past is the past. Um, I have a feeling that whoever that you're dealing with, um, they were actually dating other people. But this person realizes that no one compares to you. This person feels also that this is like a, like a different type of relationship or a connection that they have. And um, they want to do what's fair. I really feel like uh, they want to treat you right also. Yeah, because you are their twin. The other thing I'm also getting is that, you know, maybe they didn't uh, try hard enough for this relationship and um, they were spreading themselves too thin. I have a feeling that your person was breadcrumbing you, okay, with amongst the other people and they realized that they were selfish. So I have a feeling that they want to change. Um, they realize that um, they want to come back and they want to close out some kind of a cycle um, and offer you love. They're going to open up with their heart this time. Yeah, I see that they've made a decision, okay, that, you know, they weren't really being honest and they were keeping a lot of secrets. It was because they weren't feeling good. Um, also, they weren't seeing things too clearly. Um, they really feel like they couldn't offer your relationship. But they were just so guarded. They were blocking their heart. And now it's taken them uh, the strength and courage to uh, tell you the truth. That whatever that they did to you... Um, it, it really rubbed them the wrong way. I, I don't know. It's like after the fact, right? <laughs> Whatever this is, okay, they were kind of shocked. You know, maybe for, for some of you, Sag, maybe you were the ones that were dating and hooking up with other people. You know, and your person was really stressed. They didn't know what to do. Okay, now, you know, they, they want to um, 
you know, the way that they were communicating to you was very cold. And so I have a feeling that maybe somebody saw somebody was uh, out dating. Maybe somebody uh, peeped on someone and saw that they, they put a, a dating profile up. <laughs> and they're like, oh, really? Uh, were you not, not, you know, were you not enough? You know, where they had to put themselves out there on a dating app when you guys were actually seeing each other. That's for some, that's not for everyone, you know? Your person realizes that no matter how many people that they try to be with, okay, no one else compares to you. That's why I keep feeling. Yes, you know, and they're trying to balance out their energy. This is you. You actually balance them out. You know, your person has some kind of revelation and they've come to to an awareness that they've been self-sabotaging themselves and they were trying to do things their own way they were trying to be in control of the situation and not really give you much it was because they were acting a little bit childish maybe a little bit immature and that's why they didn't come towards you and they were thinking about their actions and they're trying to let it go and I see that either you cut them out or they cut you out. But they're trying to change of um, feeling like, you know, like they couldn't really have like this new beginning with you. They were just blocking themselves. And so, you know, there's something that they have to close out before they can open up towards you. For some, maybe they still have a karmic situation and they keep thinking about the past, about how defensive they were. You know, they were defensive because they were out dating and hooking up with other people, you know? Now they see that you you made them happy all along. Like, I don't know how many times your person had to go out and and test the waters with other people but no one else compares to you like i don't know how many times i said it so far in this reading but it's it's showing up in here multiple times let's see what else i mean because last week okay i saw your person had a sex addiction so how many excuses are they coming up with but i can see if they were dating and hooking up and they're having sex with other people and this week they're hurt you know because they they could have had so much with you sag that's what i'm saying this is your twin okay um they're getting uh you know guidance or you know support from their friends maybe you know other people and say hey you know what about sag you know they sacrifice uh, this connection for a hookup but they're not they're not allowing this uh energy to interfere in the connection between the two of you Let's see what else. So your person is, uh, they're thinking, okay, they want union. I definitely do see that. And uh, for some, maybe uh, you guys live in, in a tropical area. Maybe this is Hawaii. Um, that's for some. I'm getting uh, Islander vibes, okay? Uh, maybe you guys are Asian Islander for some. Uh, or maybe uh, Jamaican or something like that. Okay. Um, whatever the case is, they, they feel like they had to hold back um, because they couldn't offer this... Uh, connection towards you okay but they they do want to come back that's what i am seeing so what is it that they feel look at this your person is wanting to offer their love but um i see that they're actually holding back your person is holding back because um they're just tired of defending themselves i have a feeling it's because they know that they were out there dating and hooking up with other people so they know that um they're gonna catch wind <laughs> of uh you know back talking from other people could be from you i feel like this is other people though like maybe the people that they've been dating right so they have to possibly you know block their numbers and stuff like that so what is it that they want 
you know what i'm seeing here is a star your person really hopes and wishes that you guys can get together uh they're taking the time to do some reflection and i see that um they're writing their goals so your person is very serious about making it work with you sag okay so after uh whatever time that has passed um they realize that you are what they hoped and wished for they're starting to see something you know the other thing i'm also picking up on is that they have a list of pros and cons um, of how you know what are the pros and cons of you and what are the pros and cons of uh, other karmic relationships and again nothing compares to you that's what i keep getting okay so what is the outcome So I see her six of wands with the eight of cups and also uh, the high priestess. Sorry, I can't see I'm one handing it. <laughs> you know, what I'm getting with this is that your person uh, sees that their pride and ego got in the way of coming back. OK, uh, they possibly left you, but now they're coming back and um, their intuition is telling them, OK, that it's time okay um there's no longer an interference this person is really connected with you especially if you're a twin so you guys are connecting with each other through a telepathic level that's what i'm sensing you know perhaps your person has uh cleared some kind of karma for them to uh open up towards their higher self and really connect to um their truth and that is like who you are to them as a twin. I have a feeling that your person has really worked on some of their vices before uh, they decide to really come back towards you. That's what this feels like. So uh, let's see, what else does this person wanna confess? Spirit, please reveal to me what is it that this person would like to confess? I will always forgive the mistakes you make. You know, perhaps this was uh, something that you did. Maybe it was them. Also, I'm afraid to open up. I know it will be the end of my ability to keep these walls up. I'm just uh, protecting my heart. It really isn't you. It's me. So, you know, they're holding back for a reason. And I saw that, you know, but they're going to come through. Also, I've searched for you and others. Nobody compared. What? guys i can't make this stuff up what did i say i i saw that they're writing a list they're doing a pros and cons and um nobody compares to you i kept getting that like how many times did i say it? like four or five times already right guys i kid you not man. when spirit comes through I've written entire messages to send to you, but I always end up deleting them. My fear of intimacy paralyzes me. Yeah, they're afraid of being intimate. That's why they're exploring other options, but they realize that it was just temporary. I want, to, I want you to be the mother of our children. So now they want to settle down. That's what I'm seeing. Also, I talk to you all the time. I express everything I feel and desire as if you were here. What did I say? Telepathic conversations. I, I kid you not. This is your twin flame over here. Your twin, okay, is really connecting with you, at least as of late. It's in here two times, okay? They know that they made the sacrifice. They gave you up for some hookup okay or somebody else and it wasn't even worth it but it was worth the experience because now they know the difference no one compares to their twin i feel the love you send to me and thank you for always forgiving me when my ego acts up i do love you so much and i know this is a hard pill to swallow right because how many times are you going to forgive your person for for making a mistake for how many hookups are they going to do in their lifetime before they settle down with you well i really feel that you know in this month 
they're finally coming to terms with this connection they're cleaning up their act and i have a feeling very soon your person is wanting to settle down and be monogamous with you finally right sag like seriously <laughs> let's see what else spirit what is the guidance that you have for sag at this time I'll just pick one because this is the one that popped out and there's like four or five cards that came out in the same thing but it's a number 17 keep your heart open and know that you're being protected listen to what you know to be true and allow yourself to see and understand what is going around you you know this is really beautiful just know that you are safe and surrounded by love you are protected this is a divine connection you know definitely this is a twin flying this is like double confirmed if your person um was promiscuous and um you know they're going around town i have a feeling that they're they're stopping that energy finally your person is starting to see uh the value you hold compared to everyone else and that's what i'm seeing guys so i really hope that this reading was helpful let me know thank you all for watching and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com you can also follow me on ig as scorpio moon intuition i hope y'all have a lovely day and i will see you next time Bye bye Thank you.